Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial on PSpice. As you all know, PSpice is a famous, uh, relatively famous electronic and electrical circuit simulation software. So let's dive deep into this. So at first we should know some basic <coughs> circuitry elements. Uh, so as you have seen, uh, as you are seeing, I have written something with this here. Uh, active elements, passive elements and ground. So as you all know, active elements are those elements uh, uh, who can uh, supply current or uh, supply current in the supply energy in the circuit and passive elements are those who consume those um, energies like resistor inductor capacitor famously known as rlc and uh, as you have seen uh, as you're seeing here we have written uh, one and zero these are nothing but the node uh, the node numbers so you can choose any number here you want uh, and similarly you can choose here uh, any number you want and here also so uh, i have explicitly written ground here because it's really an important concept uh, when you are simulating circuit without this without a ground in a circuit no circuit can simulate so you always have to keep this in mind as a beginner you will face many problem uh, while simulating and one of them is ground so at first we'll see a basic circuit simulation uh, and this is this circuit it's really a simple circuit a voltage source and um, three resistors and a current source so this is a voltage source and this is a current source and if we go to our schematics in arcade p spice and if you don't know how to install this i have provided the link below you can check that out uh, from my google drive okay so there are many parts in this uh schematic so here is a search box here so if we see the circuit at first it has a voltage source and this is a dc voltage source so if we go to our schematics and if we write vdc we will get that part so you can see this is a voltage source and uh, if i zoom this you can see this is here this is a plus sign and this is a minus sign so as we all know the, the longer part is plus sign so this is here Let's zoom out. and then you can see here there are three resistors so for resistors the part name is r so if you type r you get the resistors so i get them here one here one here and one and if you click here zoom to fit page you can actually get that instead okay now i have um, another current source so i will just simply write idc and we got that okay now this is really important just so as the voltage source the current source has to be placed correctly so if you see here the current is flowing from this node to this node okay let me just wire this circuit properly so wires, wires are connected if you see here this is a pencil button and this is just draw wire so i'm just clicking these two draw wires and here here and here okay so this uh, blue dot means this is a node nothing else okay now if you see uh, the current in the original circuit is flowing from this node to this node so you have to draw this yeah, similarly otherwise your circuit will go wrong and now you have to change the values okay now you can change the values and uh, also the part names so if you double click here we have this one as ra this one is rv and this one is rc so you can double click here and change the part as ra and also this as um, rb and this one as rc okay now we can change the values this one is 5k 4k and 1k okay. so basically k means uh, one uh, kilo ohms you already know that uh, 5k this one is um, 4k this one is okay. Okay, so this is already 1k now we have to change the values of the voltage source and the current source so the voltage source is given as 20 volts and also the part name is vs so we can change that over here uh, we can write this it doesn't matter really and this is 20 volts so this is 20 volts also the current name is is i've seen it earlier so we can change this here click double click here okay so it doesn't check if i'm not clicking the wrong thing so here this is is and uh, the value of the current source is 2 milliamps so you have to write this as double click here to m you can also read uh, write uh, a 
so it doesn't really matter you can only write two n and remember uh, n is also a case sensitive so if you write two capital n it means mega and if you write two small letter n it means milli okay so we are done here two n two okay we have our circuit completed and also we can write the node voltage so if you write here according to the circuit this is one so we write here one so this is just this wire from here to here is number one node and if you write here two this is here two so basically this whole thing is not two and if also if you click here click on this wire this shows two okay and if you click here this shows node three so our circuit is completed okay one thing is missing right we don't have ground here as i told earlier so for the ground part we have to write gnd underscore earth so this means ground earth okay now you can place the ground here here it doesn't really matter so i have chosen this ground here as well from basic circuitry so let me just zoom to it page so we have our circuit completed okay now you have to save this you can just press ctrl plus s to save the file and i already saved this earlier so no direct box came here okay so this is our circuit now we have to simulate that and you can see here there is a simulate uh, option here a dialog box you can click on this if you click on this the circuit will simulate okay now our circuit is simulated but nothing is showing here right okay i have to show this so you can just click here the b part so it will show the node voltage so the node voltage with reference to the ground so as we have put the ground of our circuit here the node voltage reference all the node voltage will be computed from this reference point so the number one node is here so we are clear we clearly know that the voltage is 20 volts so the number one node is also 20 volts okay number two is at 13.33 volt and the number three is at minus two volt okay now where is the current similarly you can click here enable bias current display and i you can see the current here so let me just uh, turn up the voltage now okay so this is the voltage uh, this is the current also we can see the current from where to where it's going here you can see the, if you click here on the current bar you can see that the current is going from number one to number two nodes. also you can see here this is going from number two to zero and if you see here it is going from ground to upper as you already know if you see the voltage this was minus two volts. So the current, or we always know that current is current flows from higher voltage to lower voltage. So current will flow from zero volt to minus two volt. So as we can see from here, this happens. So basically, this is a really simple circuit. This will just uh, start you. Uh, you start with one in these guys. So this is our simple circuit. Also, we want to justify our results. This is thirteen point three two volts. This is zero volts. So the current flowing. Through this branch or uh, through this RB register is 13.33 minus 0 divided by 4, which is nothing but 3.33 milliamps. Okay, so this is our first circuit, and I will also I also want you to uh, make you familiar uh, with some other notation of circuit. So this is as you can see from here from this uh, photo, this is VCVS, this is CCV. So VCVS means voltage controlled voltage source. CCVS means current controlled voltage source, CCCS means current controlled current source, and VCCS is voltage controlled current source. Okay, so if we see the first part is always controlled, uh, so the control part is always on the left side, so you can remember it like this. So here you can see voltage control, so there is a plus minus sign, so it is voltage controlled. Here you can see the current control, so there is a current bar sign, uh, this arrow here and this is also current control source so here is current control on the left side and this is also voltage control so it's voltage control similarly the actual source is uh, on the right side so here you can see this is actually voltage source voltage control voltage source so the voltage source so there is a plus minus sign here and this is also voltage source plus minus sign here this is a current source so uh, arrow sign here it's also current source this is a, an arrow sign here if you took introductory electrical uh, courses circuit courses you already are familiar with the notation but uh, as we see from circuit analysis these simulation diagrams are somewhat different so i really wanted you to get acquainted with this so we will see about these circuits uh, in a later video thank you for watching this uh,